That was pre that's pretty exciting for us. We had um, I'm excited today because for a long time now I have wanted to reinstate the uh, assault weapon ban. Uh, you weren't here, maybe you weren't even born when we did this in the 90s. It was uh, hard, but it happened, and it saved lives. And I'm looking forward to our having a good uh, the, the passage of it this afternoon. When I talk about it on the floor this afternoon, I'm going to show I'm going to show a, a, a presentation of what some totally irresponsible people are putting out there about little children, toddlers, learning how to use an assault weapon, smaller assault weapons, but a gun like mommy and daddy, small assault weapons, but getting their muscles ready to be able to use it. Is that sick? Anyway, we're hopeful that on our vote on the assault weapon ban and the outcry for it in the country, I think the best, most important thing to do is to have background checks. That probably saves the most lives on the ongoing. But a very a co with that, very important, is to eliminate the to reinstate. We like to say reinstate because we did pass this before, and it did, and it did save lives. We take an oath of office to protect and defend, to protect and defend our Constitution, the American people, making our community safe. Our Democrats are committed uh, to having strong support for our law enforcement and our first responders. We want to, we, I'm, I'm so proud to announce that uh, as of late last night, we've come to um, uh, terms in terms of how we support our our law enforcement and do so uh, with with accountability. I have to pay tribute to uh, Joyce Beatty, the chair of the Congressional Black Caucus, uh, to Josh Gottheimer, who really has been a leader on this issue, and Abigail Spanberger. She had a, she had a bill too, and they found a way to do what we want to support our men and women in uniform, but to also do so with accountability. Uh, since we talked about a, a security package, though, we've been flooded with so many bills that people have, so we need to, sh shall we say, we have to have the bandwidth to deal with all of them, and hopefully, not hopefully, we plan to bring those uh, support for our men and women in, uh, men and women in law enforcement uh, with accountability uh, to the floor.